Three days after his death, the body of Jalal Talabani arrived in Suleimaniya. It was an Iraqi aircraft that carried home Iraq's first post-Saddam Hussein president. But it was the Kurdish flag his body was wrapped in. A message clearly saying Jalal Talabani was a Kurdish leader above all. It was his successor, Iraq's current president, Fouad Masoum, and childhood friend, who laid the first wreath, followed by Kurdish President Masoud Barzani, at times his political foe, and at other times an ally. Then it was Iran's foreign minister, followed by Iraqi officials. But the big absence was Iraq's prime minister, Haider al-Abadi, perhaps a reflection of the current tensions between the central government and the Kurds following the vote for secession. But this was a day for his people, generations of Kurds who grew up during his time. I'm very sad. After he was sick, Kurdistan had many sorrows. We lost many soldiers in the war. Now we're orphans. He created a women's battalion in the Peshmerga. I'm very proud to be part of it. There's grief in Suleimaniya. People lined the streets as his body was carried through the city. Kurdish authorities have declared a seven-day mourning period. Certainly the mood is somber here. People have been lining up throughout the city to say their last goodbye to Mam Jalal. This is how they refer to him. Mam means uncle in Kurdish. An affectionate term that was given to Talabani by his friends, one that he carried throughout his career. Delchat has been waiting from early morning near the burial place. Like many here, he regrets the demise of Talabani, just as Iraq's Kurds are facing turbulent times. If he was still alive, the Kurds would get independence. But now the Turks, Iran and the West are all against the vote. We don't want starvation and closed borders. The situation would be different if he was still here. In 2012, Talabani said this was not the era to call for independence, stating that neighboring countries will close the borders. Five years later, Iraqi Kurds have never been so close to secession. The predictions of Talabani the pragmatist, now a very real threat hanging over the Kurdish region. Hadad Al-Hamid, Al-Jazeera, Suleimaniya.